This is Dave with ToothyGrinStore.com and today's topic is why coffee is bad for your teeth. I think a lot of people intuitively know it is, they just really don't understand completely why. So coffee is bad for your teeth for two reasons and both reasons stem from the fact that coffee is very acidic. In fact if you look at some of the food charts out there that list food acidity uh, you'll see coffee is one of the most highly acidic foods or drinks out there. Acid directly attacks your tooth enamel. This can leave you susceptible to cavities as well as cracked and broken teeth. But there is another problem with the acid, and that is that the bad bacteria really love an acidic environment. They love the acid. It makes them multiply even more rapidly. These bad bacteria are the anaerobic ones. These are the kind that are responsible for cavities, gum disease, and even bad breath. Think about the daily routine of most people. Do they take any steps at all to clear their mouths of the acid after drinking a cup of coffee? Most people never even think about it. If they had a good pH balanced mouthwash, it could be to their benefit. Even swishing with water is better than nothing, but be careful because some water nowadays is also very acidic. Most people take no precautions at all, and after a few hours later, they're drinking another cup of coffee or soda. In most cases, the soda is just as acidic, if not more, than the coffee. In light of that, does it surprise you that so many people have cavities and broken or cracked teeth? I hope this post will help you think about these things a little bit more. In addition, many other beverages and foods are acidic. Do your homework and you could save yourself a lot of heartache. One test that could help, you can do a pH test on your saliva before and after drinking coffee or before and after using a pH balanced mouthwash or before and after any beverage that you or food that you want to try. You can sometimes find these pH testing strips at your local pharmacy. Caution, please never put the testing strips in your mouth. What you do is you put your saliva on a dish or a bowl and you put the testing strip on top of that. Follow all the directions and warnings on the package before using pH testing strips. This is Dave with ToothyGrinStore.com. Thanks for watching. The topic today was why coffee is bad for you. There will be a link to this exact page underneath this post if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Have a great day. Remember to subscribe to this channel. I highly recommend the show Shen Yun to you. Visit ShenYunPerformingArts.org 